Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how I add text and draw on the inside of my insert and cutaway cards using Cricut Design Space. As always, in the description under this video, you can find product links, discount information, and links to my Facebook groups. I hope to see you there. We're starting on a clean canvas in Design Space or blank canvas. I like to use a light green. I find that it shows up the graphics and text much better than bright white. If you don't know how to do this, you probably do. But if you go right down to your layers panel on the right, you'll see blank canvas. Click on that. An icon will appear on your top toolbar. Click on that and choose the color you'd like to work on. I prefer to work with no grid. Some of you may prefer to use the grid to help you center your images and text. I'm just going to turn that back off. The first thing you're going to do is decide what size card you're going to use. I'm going to use my favorite size for little birthday cards, which is the S40, S for square, 40 for 4.75 by 4.75. I'm going to Shapes. I'll select a square. I'm going to resize it, the same as the card that I'm going to be used. And now we have this amazing new guide feature, which means that you can turn this into a template that won't transfer to your cut screen. All you need to do for that is go up to Operations on the top left, click on your drop-down, and choose Guide and you see that it has become just an outline that will not transfer. I'm going to be making four, so we'll duplicate, and then we'll duplicate those two. And I'm just going to set them aside, and we'll start with our first one. So for this one, let's move it over. I'm going to select text. I have Cricut Sans, which is a basic font, but I'm going to use that. Of course, you can use any font you like, but you want to choose one that has a writing style. Select that. I'm going to write best wishes on your special day. You can write anything you want. Go to Alignment and center the text. Let's make it smaller. Whatever size you like, it's completely up to you. There we go. I like having a template just to see where it will sit, what the size looks like, and if I'm happy with it. That one looks good. Let's set it aside. Let's make another one with text. I'm going to write wishing you a wonderful birthday we'll go alignment again and center make it smaller i think i'll put this one in the center so i'll make it smaller and place it there i like how that looks so let's just move that one away for this one, I think I'll use a phrase. I'll just search for birthday. And I'm going to change my operations to draw only. I'll choose this one, add to canvas. Definitely too large, we'll just make it smaller. And this one I'm going to put down at the bottom, I think. I like how that looks, so we'll set it aside. And my fourth one, I'll go back to phrases. And there's a cute one that I saw. Just waiting for more to load. Where is it hiding? 
go to operations and draw only again. Maybe it was in images. Let's try there. Operation draw only. Oh, here it is. This is the one I wanted. Add to canvas. And I'm going to put that one, I think, right in the center of my card. So that looks good. I'm going to take a look at that little warning sign on my layers panel. Not supported by Maker. It wants me to change my pen. But I plan to use the same pen on all of these. So I'll select one, hold down my shift key, select all the writing and drawing, and I'm changing them to black. Of course, you can use all different color pens if you want to. You can make it any way that you want. So we have two with text, one with a phrase, one with an image. Terrific. Let's click Make It on the card mat and continue. Don't forget to select the right size card that you're planning to use. I'm going to move this one up to the top. That's where I want it to write and move the cake down to the bottom center. That's where I want it to draw, but you can place them however you like. Click continue. Design space is connecting to my Maker 3. I'm going to choose insert card card stock for these. And there we go. We're all set. I'm going to switch to my overhead camera and we'll draw and write on our cards. Here we are ready to write on our cards. So I'm loading my cards top up. You don't want to turn this mat around. You always want to be working with the top inserted in your machine. I'm just going to, oh, I wanted to show you this. So all you're going to do is open your card and flip it inside out. So this is the inside facing you that you want to draw on. So that's going to be up on your mat. I just bend a little tiny bit to make it easier to insert the card. Make sure it's all the way up at the top and against the score line and flatten it down. Once again, open your card. This is what you want to be writing on. So fold it back. Insert the card all the way up to the top and onto the score line and down. And now we're all set to do our writing and drawing. I already have my pen inserted and I'm going to press load. I'm going to mute my mic while the machine is writing and drawing because it's very close to my audio system and it's going to be loud. So I'll mute my mic and speed up the process. And there we are, all done. These turned out terrific. I'm going to unload my mat. Let's flip this out of the way for now. I prefer to do the writing and drawing on my cards first before I do the cut. I do this because I find it more practical to 
replace the card in position when it hasn't been all cut out already. So while I go back to design space, I'm just going to let these sit for a minute, make sure they're absolutely dry before I flip them right side out. And I'll continue by cutting out the fronts. Here I am back in design space. I'm going to click done. Go to my projects. Drop down menu and scroll down for insert cards. And I think I'll search for birthday instead of scrolling through everything. And I'm looking for S40 cards. So let's see, this birthday cake is cute. I'm going to go with this happy birthday card. That's very cute. And click make it. Replace the drawing I had on my screen. Make sure I switch to S40. And that's perfect. So let's click continue. Insert card card stock. And I'm ready to go. Once again, we'll switch back to my overhead camera and we'll cut the front of the cards. Okay, so now we're going to flip our cards right side out. We'll just lift them up. Flip them right side out. And put them back in. All the way to the top and down. Flip them over. And the last one. And this is why I do the writing first, because I find it much easier to put the solid part of the card in than to put the front that's already been cut. Okay, so the top loaded, and I should have mentioned before I drew on my cards, don't forget your star wheels always in the center. We'll click load. And once again, I'm going to mute my mic and speed up the process. All set, we'll remove our mat. I'm just going to take out my pen and we'll close up my machine. I wanted to mention that when I showed you the cut screen, I omitted to increase the quantity to four. I needed four 
So off camera, I did have to go back and increase my quantity to do all four cards. So let's just start removing these. This is cute with the writing on the inside. Just make sure we have all the little pieces out. And we do, I believe, this corner piece needs to come out. And we're all set. So now all we have to do, we'll push this away, is add our insert into the corners. Make sure it's nice and snug so it fits well. And there we have it. Our cute little happy birthday card with a message on the inside. I hope this video is going to be helpful to you. Please post pictures in the groups if you do any writing inside your cards. I'd love to see how they turn out. Thank you for watching.